Hi everybody, welcome back to Mobility. It's been a while. I apologize. I had a couple of events in Toronto, but we are back with a special guest, Jonathan. Hi there. Uh, tell us what you do, Jonathan. So I'm a acupuncturist okay. and TCM practitioner. Uh, basically, I use traditional Chinese medicine to help people feel better. Awesome. And uh, you are starting at the IHI next week? Yeah, or this next week? week, first week of April. All right. right. And you also do mixed martial arts? I have done many martial arts in my life. I've never had any fights or anything like that, but I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and compete and have okay. a good time doing it, trying not to hurt myself along the way. Awesome. So, one of the questions that I have for you is what is the difference between dry needling and acupuncture? So, dry needling is something that's relatively new. Mm -hmm. uh, acupuncture, obviously, being something that's quite old. Yeah. Uh, acupuncture was developed over many centuries. I think it dates back actually to the first century BC. It's kind of the oldest records they have of it. Mm -hmm. And it was really developed in this kind of vacuum where we didn't understand the human body. We didn't. Yeah. So, it was developed using kind of uh, method, sorry, I kind of tripped on my words there. No, but I, I, I think that, you know what, it was, it's an it's a ancient, I would even call it a technology. People innately yeah. knew something. So trying to figure out why when I press somewhere, mm -hmm. does it affect somewhere else? Right. And they were able to kind of anecdotally figure this out and build this entire paradigm that mm -hmm. explained it. So now that there's Western medicine, they're trying to look back and re-explain it and say, okay, now we really understand why this right. works. Let's really go at it. And you know, the dry needling could work very well for some people. Sometimes it's very aggressive. They tend to do a lot of stimulation, mm -hmm. a lot of electro. Uh, traditional Chinese medicine doesn't necessarily always go that way. There's a little bit of a broader uh, uh, kind of techniques that can be used. Uh, and I think you know, a lot of it also just comes down to the amount of study that the people put in. Dry needling can be as little as a weekend course and as much as a 200 hour course. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, TCM is, you know, I did a uh, four year program mm -hmm. and uh, you kind of really get into the theory and why you're specifically doing that. Not just from a Western point, like we were saying, but right. kind of using that TCM perspective to really get in there. So I think the other thing that ends up happening is like, I think dry needling is, is, is great, but it's also because a lot of athletes are utilizing it, so it becomes a bit more popular. Anytime there's something new, we tend to um, over, get overexcited by, but the reality is, is like, I think we're still affecting the same system, and maybe it's just, you know, going through a different window, right? I think the popularity of it is a lot. People that understand the body from that Western anatomical perspective and understand how good acupuncture could be, they're yeah. trying to marry the two. Right. Like, so they say, oh, I don't necessarily understand this Chinese medicine, but I see when I put a needle here, it's yeah. gonna help you. Let's call it something else so that it doesn't you know, mystify people. Right. Okay, so hopefully that's gonna help you guys. And the key thing is, Sometimes, you know what, the thing that I find puzzling that people feel like the more it's painful or the more they feel it, somehow it's doing more good, yeah, which is not necessarily sure. the case. Like, one of the big things I want to tell you guys is like when it comes to self-exploration, whether you are using a foam roller, lacrosse ball, or you're doing anything else, be like an archaeologist. Be a little bit soft. You don't need to go like really hard with everything. And you actually, your body's going to respond a lot uh, better in some cases. Yeah, a lot of times people kind of want to combat that hardness with more hardness. Exactly. But sometimes you need to use a gentle touch in order to let the body relax, go back to its more kind of natural state. Love it. So don't pick a fight with your body. Be an archaeologist, and then maybe next time, man. We'll uh, show me some moves, man, and I'll show you some, some, some hip mobility exercises, and then we'll, we'll see where we go with that. Great, let's do it. All right, take care.